Okay, everybody. <sighs> this is Marilyn. Team Phillips. Um, I just, um, I still just want to continuously thank everyone that has, you know, bought the bookmarks and stuff and helped us out because it's really been the only thing I could think of. I have found no help nowhere to help me and my son. Um, in fact, I walked the streets for three hours yesterday selling bookmarks to get up enough money to pay for him a pair of shoes. And the reason, you know, I guess, when you, when you make bad decisions and the people you put in your life, the end results will be bad. Um, I have this beautiful baby boy, um, and he is amazing. He is such an amazing 13-year-old. And you, I see all these YouTube channels on this and that and the other. Um, rapping, cursing. I think there's more of them than there is of, uh, you know, good stuff like the Bible, Jesus, and stuff like that. And that's what should be. Um, you know, in this world today, when you fall on your butt, sometimes that's exactly where you stay. But this team mom and team son and team Phillips, we are, I am, um, you know, sometimes it's easier to tell your problems to a whole bunch of strangers and because nine times out of ten, they get it quicker. But see, this is not only about problems, this is about solutions too. And yes, this red hair color looks awful. I should have left it brown. Brown, brown, brown. Born brown, just stay brown. But um, this, over the past two years, has taught me a lot of humbleness and humili humility. And um, through your... Um, donations to Team Phillips. It's not only just to support the medical thing. Say hi to everybody. He is doing better. Um, we're getting good reports from the doctor, which is awesome. And um, through all this, I've had a lot of time to look online, researching his conditions and my conditions to make sure that I'm making the right decisions for our medical care. And I have found some online stuff. Um, so I want to take it a step further with the Jean Phillips the, under the GoFundMe donations. And um, I want to um, maybe consider opening up like some kind of online business because you have to, like I've always said, and I'm, I say it in every video, um, you never stop trying. You never stop trying to do better. You never stop trying to better yourself. Um, <clears throat> sometimes you can be a victim of circumstance and bad things happen to you. And um, you can choose to sit and wallow in it. Or you can choose to um, do something about it. Ain't that right, baby? <laughs> and what are we going to do? Right there. Uh, right here? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm like, short people problems, right? Yeah, short people problems. Yeah. You do not have short people problems. You consider yourself short. Then what am I? But see, uh -huh. God perfected you the way he wanted you. And see, so you didn't take as long to get perfected. That's why. <laughs> he is none of us will ever be perfect baby that's my reason to smile that's my reason to never stop um, <clears throat> but I am not going to take up all you guys time all day today um, 
It's a beautiful, beautiful, kind of chilly Saturday, though, a little bit. Um, and I'm tanking up on coffee, as usual, and my vape cigarettes, because I figured um, when my last set of cancer scans came back clean, it was time to quit. Yes, time to quit, time to quit, time to quit. Um, God will keep his hand in mercy over you only so many times. And um, I think I've probably exceeded the limit, and he has showed me more mercy than what I've been worth. Um, <clears throat> but I think he does that for all of us. So, um, just know that, um, you know, I know there's thousands of GoFundMe pages out there. And, um, I, you know, and I, I, I'm, me and my son are one of the many. Um, but this is something that is going to, um, not only, um, not for medical bills, yes, um, because I am drowning in them. I could probably actually fill up a swimming pool and swim around in them. That's how many there are. Um, <clears throat> and you know that, and I think that's something a lot of people don't think about. Um, you know, you you can be doing fine now. You're in your nice house. You're in your nice car. You, you got it going on. But one heart attack, one car wreck, one let your house burn down and not have insurance. All it takes is one little thing out of place. And um, you could be right where I am. Could be right where I am. So dot your eyes, cover your teeth. Don't, don't let your money rule you. Um, Love God, not your flesh. Um, but um, I, I still have the um, bookmarks and anyone that um, helps and donates will receive a bookmark just as a very small token of appreciation. And I am looking into um, the online business thing. I have a bone spur in my back, okay, and a fracture in my spine. I tried to go back to work. Um, I love working. I love paychecks, but my days of getting them are over. Um, it, it was worth trying, though. It was worth trying. And I don't regret trying because I did learn one thing. My days of earning gainful, substantial employment are over. I did learn that. So I believe that means that God has me on a different journey now, and um, we're going to see what it's going to be like. Um, you know, we, we live our lives, we make our mistakes, we live, we learn, um, and that's all we can do, but don't wallow in your self-pity and keep trying. Um, you gotta keep trying. Um, no bookmarks will be sent out if you donate and you drop your address in my inbox. Um, <clears throat> I have three more surgeries to go. Isaiah's news is better, which is great. So I'm so thankful for that. That, that's just such a blessing. It's a blessing. And, um... I am so blessed. Um, but, you know, I, I had a conversation with an interesting young girl on Facebook last night. And um, sitting here at 43 years old, I see all these teen moms, and they think it's so cute. They do these things with their babies. And all babies are beautiful, no matter where they come from. Teen moms, 40-year-old moms, or whatever. But it is always better to wait for marriage. And I don't think that they should be having shows glorifying teen moms. Yes, those young ladies have made successes out of themselves. But um, what does that say about us as America as we watch shows like that? Um, 
And I just wonder how many young ladies got themselves knocked up trying to see if they could be on the show. Um, I, I think that's one show it's time to do away with. That and the Kardashians. <laughs> I've had enough of them. Don't know about y'all, but I have. Um, well, this mom has to get up off her behindy and um, try to do something positive and productive with this day. Um, God gave it to me, so I need to make it mean something. Um, and that's just what I intend to do. But, um, you know, I, I appreciate you ahead of time and thanks ahead of time. Nothing is too small. Um, the bills are so great and the trips to Montgomery are so many um, that all help is appreciated and all help is needed. And for you young girls out there, get your education. Don't get yourself knocked up. Don't be a teen mom. It's hard enough being a grown mom at 43 I'm single with a sick child and watching this YouTube video, you could, you know, you could be me in a few years, um, making GoFundMe pages, begging for your child's medicine because your child has issues and you have issues and you can't afford to get yourself back and forth to the doctor if you're not lucky enough to be on a show like Teen Mom and make some money. So really, um... Don't do it. I promise you it ain't worth it. But anyway, it is Marilyn Phillips. It's um, I'm on Facebook, and it's GoFundMe, Team Phillips. You guys have a blessed day. Enjoy your Saturday, um, and I will talk to you all again soon.